Hey folks, Troy Anderson here from KettlebellFatLossTraining.com and AndersonTrainingSystems.com. Wanted to share with you today my top six sandbag workouts, or not workouts, actually exercises to get started and maybe they'll turn into workouts when you program them right um, for beginners. Uh, I'm going to show you in a second, I got it right down here, my brand new Ultimate Sandbag, it's freaking awesome. Best sandbag Josh has ever put out, I've pretty much put through all of them. Um, he's made a really cool change, so that, that's awesome as well. But what I've got here are these movements. These movements come out of a base program that I just wrote for my cousin for his young athletes, so that's where this is coming from. They all have really good, well thought out, purposeful things. Collision sports and contact sports especially, Essentially, that really includes almost all your high school sports, aside from volleyball. And you're still, I just heard a story the other day about girls running into. So you're going to have collisions there. So any time, pretty much any team sport, you're going to have that in. So number one is the classic, shouldering. To me, shouldering, now we're talking about kettlebells earlier, but to me, shouldering for athletes and people just getting started, as far as that pulling motion and that faster pulling motion, more explosive, shouldering is where it's at. Um, I love the kettlebell. I love the speed of movement. I love the repetition that you can achieve with it. There's a lot of cool things that swinging the kettlebell will do. But for athletes, shouldering the sandbag, I think, is, is really tops as far as getting started athletes. Once you, once you're, and it'll actually work as a kind of transitionary tool for helping you work for swing a little bit, even though it's a real great movement. Next is unilateral lunging. I think this is really important. Again, we try to get as much bang for every buck of the minute that we try to do in our workouts. We put that, if it stays shoulder, there's a little workout right there, shoulder to unilateral lunge. Um, you can do a lot of different things. You can hold it on one side or the other as well. Um, it works the core trunk on a unilateral anti-rotational component. Obviously, it opens up your hip if you've done like a drop step type lunge or forward lunge for that matter. So it's a wonderful, wonderful exercise. Next, number three, is the get up. For a lot different reason, you get a lot more, again, I'm doing comparison to kettlebell, a lot more core innervation, a lot more upper torso kind of thoracic portion of your body from here up. Work with the, with the sandbag get up. Um, you're not doing quite as much shoulder work, a lot more ab work. Um, very valuable for your athletes, especially if you've got athletes that are going to get pushed and pulled around from one side to the other to the other. I think the sandbag get up is tops. Next, another underappreciated drill. Marker's not on the clock, really. Exert your squat. Again, a chance to work the torso. Very similar drill to what we talked about in the kettlebells um, one. Uh, double front squat, the abs have to work immensely hard during that, during the kettlebell. Same thing here. Um, we also have to work our upper back to kind of maintain that posture, not let the sandbag crush us in. Last, I, I named this, Josh called these around the worlds. I call it tornadoes. And again, I'll be doing videos to show you all of these movements. I just wanted to give you the breakdown for those of you that might know the movements already. Wrong. Tornado is a really cool movement. It's a rotational core drill, upper torso, moving the sandbag around the body, that's why it's called tornado, but also some really cool like deep shoulder stabilizers and shoulder movement, mobility, things along those qualities to it that are very underappreciated. And last one, number six, rotational deadlift. Again, another very underappreciated drill. If done properly with really good technique, you're doing a lot. Working those hamstrings, glutes, posterior chain, back side of the body, working the core, working the, the erectors of the back, working all those great muscles that are really important in athleticism. And things rarely occur in athletics in a very straight line. Now, we can get strong, and being strong is a wonderful thing, but if we get strong, that has a little more application, that's where the sandbag comes in. So those are my top six. So sandbag shouldering, unilateral sandbag lunges, sandbag get up. Zercher sandbag squats, sandbag tornadoes, and rotational deadlifts. I want to let you take a look at the sandbag before we log off real quick. This thing is really nice. Um, let me bring the camera around. So this is the new bag, the newest bag. I'm going to hold it back a little bit and let it adjust so you can see that. This is the coolest thing, though, over here. You can see he's modified the handles. If we can get it right. You can see the handles. He's got 
not just one long handle anymore. He's got two. This is, I haven't got a chance to use it yet, but you, you can see them both there. Um, but since this is a brand new, I just got done filling it actually. Um, this is going to be really cool for high pulls and snatches and things like that. Um, I, I can't wait to get my hands off. So there are your top six exercises. Hopefully you enjoy these and we'll be breaking them down into all six components later on.